Hello, Vivekians. I am your man, Meet Ma'am, and I again affectionately welcome you all to the English session after your summer vacations. Hope you all are in the best of your spirits and health, and must have enjoyed your summer breaks to the fullest, and must have studied also for your cycle tests. As we have completed the cycle tests, so we would start with your online video tutorials. Now, open your English books to page number thirty-seven, and today we shall start with the poem "Wenkert and Fish." The objective of today's class is to empathize, that is, to know and understand the life and feelings of a fisherman. Now, how many of you know how fishermen work and live, and what their life is like? Now let me tell you. Fishermen are hard working people who start their day even before the sun rises and go in the sea in their fishing boats. Sometimes they face storms. Sometimes they are out for fishing for many days. Sometimes they are not able to catch any fish and return to their homes empty handed. They work hard. to keep their boats and nets in good condition now this is a poem about wenkert who is a fisherman and goes into the arabian sea early in the morning to catch the fish so now page number 37 wenkert and fish let's begin fishermen work hard every day to catch fish to sell in the market jo fishermen hote hain wo bahut hard work karte hain to catch the fish and why to catch the fish to sell it in the मार्केट दे ब्रिंग सम ऑफ देयर कैच होम टू फीड द फैमिली और कुछ वो फिशेज अपने घर भी ले आते हैं टू फीड द फैमिली और कुछ को वो सेल आउट कर देते हैं इमेजिन वॉट वुड हैपन इफ द फिश कुड टॉक एंड रिक्वेस्ट द फिशरमैन नॉट टू कुक और सेल दैम अब इमेजिन करो कि कोई फिश हमसे बात कर सकती है और वो फिशरमैन को रिक्वेस्ट कर रही है कि प्लीज मेरे को ना तो कुक करो और ना ही सेल करो रीड द पोएम एंड फाइंड आउट Now reading and comprehension. Let's read. Venkat the fisherman sailed his boat at dawn, peered into Arabian Sea, trying not to yawn. A Venkat was a fisherman, and he sailed his boat at dawn. What do you mean by dawn? See, the meaning is written early morning. He peered into Arabian Sea. What do you mean by peered? See, the meaning is written look with concentration at someone or something. That means he was looking with concentration into the Arabian Sea and trying not to yawn. Now, why trying not to yawn? Because वो सुबह सुबह जल्दी उठ गया था तो he was feeling sleepy. ताकि उसकी concentration हटे ना इसीलिए he was peering into Arabian Sea and trying not to yawn. Wenkert the fisherman. cast his sturdy net into the deep blue sea and waited till sunset now wenkert the fisherman cast his sturdy net what do you mean by cast throw something forcefully into the water to catch a fish and what is that something what do you throw in the water to catch a fish obviously that is a net and the net is sturdy here sturdy means strong and cannot be broken easily so he threw his net into the deep blue sea and waited till sunset wenkat the fisherman caught a big fish he thought he will make a nice spicy fish dish a wenkat fisherman kya karta usne kya kiya usne ek bahut badi si fish ko catch kar liya and what did he think he thought that he'll make a nice spicy fish dish out of it wenkat the fisherman came back to his hut to make his tasty fish curry he bought a fresh coconut a wenkat fisherman came back to his hut or apni tasty si fish curry banane ke liye he bought a fresh coconut also wenkat the fisherman got ready to cook fish but fish howled and said please don't be so selfish a wenkat fisherman ne apni saari ki saari taiyari kar li us fish ko cook karne ke liye but fish howled what do you mean by howled to make a loud sound to express pain and sadness that means the fish was very very sad and she said please don't be so selfish don't cut me don't cook me i want to live o oh venkat if you be kind to me i will always keep you entertained for free now the fish says i want to live that means she says main jeena chahti hu if you be kind to me please be nice to me 
प्लीज बी काइंड टू मी और मैं आपका एंटरटेनमेंट करूंगी फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट आई विल स्विम नो मोर ओ वेंकट इफ यू पुट मी इन फ्राइंग पैन लेट मी स्विश डोंट मेक मी अ डिश बी अ गुड जेंटल फिशरमैन नाउ द फिश सेज कि वो स्विम नहीं कर पाएगी अगर वेंकट उसको फ्राइंग पैन में डाल देगा क्विक कुक कर देगा तो वो स्विम नहीं कर पाएगी लेट मी स्विश वॉट यू मीन बाय स्विश मूव विथ रशिंग साउंड स्पेशली इन वाटर फिश मूव करती है ना टर्न टर्न करके प्रॉपर मूव करती है दैट इज माई स्विशिंग डोंट मेक मी अ डिश फिश रिक्वेस्ट करती है कि प्लीज डू नॉट कुक मी डोंट मेक मी अ डिश बी अ गुड जेंटल फिशरमैन and now she requests venkat to be a good gentle fisherman hearing this venkat stopped he got mighty upset the fish sure is happy and safe cause now it's venkat's pet now hearing this venkat ekdam stop kar jata hai ruk jata hai uh, why because he got mighty upset wo ekdam upset ho gaya tha what do you mean by mighty upset extremely unhappy the fish sure is happy and safe a fish to lekin happy bhi hai aur safe bhi hai because venkat has made him his pet now Today we have completed the explanation of the poem Venkat and Fish. I hope you all must have enjoyed the poem. And now the home assignments. For the homework you have to complete let's try 1 and let's try 2 in the book itself. In let's try 1 you can see read through the poem then read the choices below and tick द राइट आंसर रीड करिए आप एक बार दोबारा से पोएम को मैंने उसको एक्सप्लेन भी आपको कर दिया है एंड नाउ रीड द चॉइस इज बिलो एंड यू जस्ट हैव टू टेक द राइट आंसर अकॉर्डिंग टू द अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ द पोएम इन लेट्स ट्राई टू टिक द क्वालिटीज विच वेंकट शोज इन द पोएम काइंड हार्ड वर्किंग हेल्पफुल सेल्फिश राइट वन सेंटेंस यूजिंग द अब गिवन क्वालिटीज ऑन वेंकट अब आपको क्वालिटीज जो जो लगती हैं कि वेंकट में थी He was kind. He was hardworking. Was he helpful? Was he selfish? आपको क्या लगता है कि वेंकट में कौन कौन सी qualities थी And then you have to write one sentence using the above given qualities. Example is being given. Venkat feels sorry for the fish because he is kind. That means Venkat kind था अब next को आपको खुद इसे fill up करना है Now B part. Take the qualities which the fish shows in the poem: a clever, smart, talkative, stupid. इसमें से आपको क्या लगता है कि fish में कौन कौन सी qualities थीं? Write one sentence using the above given qualities on fish. और ऊपर जो जो qualities दे रखी हैं, जो आपको लगती हैं सही हैं, पहले आप उनको tick करना है और उसके बाद आपको उसका एक sentence बनाना है. Example is again being given. Fish is able to convince Venkat not to cook him because he is clever. Fish बहुत clever थी because she convinced Venkat not to cook him. Now fish is again dash because it is dash. ये अब आपको खुद fill up करना है. The word meanings are being given which have to be copied in the English notebook neatly and according to the given format. Again an assignment is being provided which the students are requested to complete themselves. be independent and do your work neatly so this was all for today stay at home stay safe bye bye take care see you all in the next session thank you